United States may take action against entities connected to China's military that supported the flight of a Chinese spy balloon into U.S. airspace last week. That's according to a senior State Department official on Thursday. The official added that Washington is... It was NASA's multi-billion dollar blunder in the central Australian desert. A report into the crash of a space balloon has found a lack of safety precautions could have resulted in deaths. It was a takeoff in the central Australian desert with high hopes of exploring the final frontier. Instead, plans came crashing to the ground. The failed launch of a balloon carrying a multi-million dollar space telescope had onlookers scrambling for safety. The cargo broke free during takeoff. It was dragged out of control, crashing through a fence into a car. It left onlookers running for their lives. So we will certainly not be advertising any balloon launches. It's planning to launch another balloon into space next year. Emma Masters, ABC News. Yeah, a bit of sci-fi hitting home for a Michigan couple when a satellite crash landed in their backyard and their reaction? Priceless. Never know what's going to happen. This baby fell out of the sky and landed in our yard. <laughs> uh, Nancy and Dan Welke, cool as cucumbers, discovering a satellite that had crash landed on their property, still blinking and still attached to a parachute. People in the Navajo Nation have been trying to figure out what crash landed in the high desert. A Navajo Tribal Council delegate shared a picture of what looks like a satellite. Spaceship or satellite. Sitting right behind Tully Begay's house, his grandson watched it land. This thing came to a landing far from pretty much anything, in between the towns of Kayenta and Denihatso on the Navajo Reservation. People were calling me, they were asking me what was going on at the house. A bunch of solar panels, some electronic hardware, looking very much out of this world. A uh, parachute, actually, there's an orange parachute that was, it came down with it. It's probably a weather balloon, just like the UFO at Roswell, but this time from Google. Google has been launching weather balloons with little miniature cell towers attached to them. It's called Project Loon. They hope to bring internet access to remote areas of the world. The balloons can stay up for about a year and carry a payload that looks an awful lot like what dropped near Tully Begay's house. There's even flight tracking data on those balloons. This one started off in Nevada, then crossed the country, went to the Caribbean, then finally popped up again off the coast of California and landed on the Navajo Reservation, right by Kayenta. So not little green men from Mars, probably more like little IT guys from Google, and an out-of-this-world story on the reservation. Forget it, Bard. It's so bright out, you can't see anything in the sky except the Fox satellite. No, Lise. 